the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh watch rugby trials at Headingley Stadium. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh were in Leeds, where they watched the rugby trials and attended the Community Sports and Leisure Awards at Headingley Stadium. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh visited Headingley Stadium in Leeds, where they attended the Community Sports and Leisure Awards. During the visit, their Royal Highnesses met Leeds Rhinos players and girls during rugby league training, before joining an awards ceremony which honours those who change lives through grassroots sport. The visit took place on International Women's Day, and following their arrival, their Royal Highnesses met two women's rugby league pioneers, Julia Lee, the first UK rugby league referee, and Lisa McIntosh, a former British rugby league captain who was the first woman of colour to captain a British sports team. The Duke and Duchess heard from girls from four schools in Leeds about how they got into the sport and what their current season has been like. The Duke takes over as chairman of the Sports and Leisure Alliance, a role he took over from his father, the late Duke of Edinburgh, in 2009. While in a separate news, King Charles continues to work behind the scenes since stepping down from his public duties. King Charles is busy continuing to carry out his royal duties, despite a shocking cancer diagnosis. While the King has retreated from public duties, he continues to work behind the scenes, such as handling papers and greeting ambassadors. On March 6, a photo was taken of the 75-year-old monarch shaking hands with Algeria's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Nuruddin Yazid, and Mauritania's ambassador, Samba Mamadou. King Charles has scaled back his duties in the short term as he continues treatment for his as yet unidentified cancer, but he remains busy behind the scenes. He also held a virtual meeting with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau this week. He was recently seen leaving his home at Clarence House in London, heading to the famous royal residence to meet diplomats. The King appeared cheerful as he raised a smile and waved to well-wishers from his car.